how you doing out there? This is JOA TD back with another video. Um, I'm in a 2012 Ford Focus. Uh, as you can see, the engine light is on. Um, I'm having a problem with the vehicle um, shifting improperly. Um, you put the car in drive and you start to push on the gas and the car will either kind of jerk or act like it's going into neutral or um, just not really shifting properly. Um, I just started having this problem probably about uh, maybe like a week ago. Um, I've hooked up the OBD2 scanner and the scanner says that the code um, it found, let's see, was this one right here, P2610 and the second one is the same, P2610 ECM slash PCM engine off timer performance. So when I look this up, it basically is saying that the ECM, which is engine control module, and the PCM is powertrain control module, is malfunctioning. I uh, did some more research, found that you can do a reset to the ECM, PCM. And I'm going to walk you through how to do that reset. Alright guys, so I'm at the engine bay and I'm at the battery, battery uh, terminals. The negative battery terminal back there, what you're going to do is, the easiest way to do it is to get like alligator clip wires, but I don't have any. So I just took a piece of wire, regular wire, twisted two of them together and twisted them together on the other side. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to take the positive um, lead off and then you're going to go back there and loosen the um, negative lead so that you can put the wire under the uh, screw. That's the only way that I can get it to hold it down without having uh, alligator clip ends on the wires. And you're going to connect it to the negative and then you're going to take, make sure that this um, lead is off. Put like a towel between the two and then you're gonna connect it to this actual lead without it being connected to the terminal. All right, I'll show you exactly what I mean. One second. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do <clears throat> is take this lead loose from the terminal. I'm gonna use this uh, ratcheting box wrench. This is made by Chicago. This is awesome, I love this thing. You just put it on here and you can actually ratchet around it unloosen see right now I'm tightening it so flip around see how it ratchets around but then it grabs it so you can take stuff loose and ratchet it's awesome made by Chicago dude it is best tools I got I got a full set of them I think it goes from 10 millimeter to 15 or 17 but this is awesome it's a ratcheting box wrench. All right, so let's go. We're gonna take this off. All right, now that we have this off, the one back there, we're gonna loosen it and then we're gonna put the wire underneath it. All right, guys, so I have the wire connected to the negative. See how I have it? So it's in there. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get you like a little rag or something, throw it across that terminal so you don't hit it. You don't wanna uh, hit the terminal and uh, arc it. Now, this other end, you're gonna connect it to this, okay? So I'm gonna loosen this and then I'm gonna tighten this right here in this little, where is it? This little area right here. See how it is? I'm gonna stick the wire in there and I'm gonna tighten it back down. All right, give me one second. 
All right, guys, so now I have that negative, I mean, I have the wire, the other end of the wire on the uh, positive lead. And the other end is on the negative side of the battery, okay? Here's the wire. As you can see, I'm trying to get it to focus. There you go. So one, one end's here. Follow it down, the other end is there. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave that for 10 minutes. I know this sounds crazy, but I'm willing to try anything right now. We're gonna see if this actually works. So 10 minutes, I'm gonna leave it on. So it's been 10 minutes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the wire. Disconnect the wire from the positive. And then back down in here. Let's get close enough right here. I'm gonna take this bolt loose so I can take this wire out. Now what you're gonna do is put the lead back on the terminal. Got that down, tighten this back. Make sure it's down tight and it's not loose. All right, so all of that's finished. Now what you're gonna do is, zoom back out. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in the car and you're going to put it in the on position for 10 um, seconds. So I'm back in the vehicle and what I'm gonna do is turn the key, put the key in and turn it to the on position and you're going to turn it to the on position for 10 seconds all right so that's about 10 seconds and you're going to start the vehicle okay now the vehicle's on, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna drive the vehicle, you know, for a little while, just drive it. And uh, when you drive, drive normally. Don't, um, don't gun it, you know, just drive normal. The, um, the computer basically has, the, uh, what is it, the ECM has to, reprogram itself to how you drive you know so you want to drive normally you don't want to go out there and just gun it all right so i'm going to take the car for a drive all right guys so i'm taking it on a drive and like i said just drive normally at least a 15 minute drive um, just to kind of get the ECU um, used to the driving but I would do like a 15 minute drive I know that sounds like a long time but I would do 
something to kind of get the car used to it, okay? And um, I'll check back a little later, see how the car is acting, and uh, I give you my final results. So I went home and I turned off the check engine light. Um, and now I'm gonna take it on another ride. It was doing good, and I wanna see if it's gonna continue to do good. The, I took it on for maybe like a 10 minute ride. Um, this ride is gonna be a little longer. And um, we're gonna see how it runs. I mean, it's it's been running really good. I'm not getting that shattering uh, feeling no more. I'm not getting the, you know, feeling as though it was gonna switch gears, you know, without me. Uh, giving it gas or whatever it's not jerking it seems to be good so I'm just going to take it on another ride and we're going to see if this fixes it as you see down in the corner the engine light is off um, in my last video the engine light was still on when I took it for the ride so I went on and turned it off and then now I'm taking it for the ride so again so let's see if this actually works, guys. All right. It's really changing gears quite good. Um, I still have the OBD2 sensor uh, connected to it. I was just wanting to see some things um, live. It's actually showing the speed and a couple other things. But I just wanted to check it just to see if it's still shifting gears pretty good. It seems to be okay. Now, I'm at a stop and I'm like uphill. This is where it normally like acts like it doesn't want to go, so I want to see how it how it functions. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's running good. We're gonna go up that hill and see how it functions going up the hill. Okay. I'm going up the hill. This is straight uphill. Still functioning right. So, as you can see, it's not shuddering anymore. It's not, you know, I don't know, man, like just not switching gears correctly. Everything seems to be okay. All right, guys. So, I'm back. It's getting a little dark outside. Um, it looks light because I have that new Samsung um, S22 Ultra, so it makes it look light outside, but it's actually a little darker. Um, it's still driving good. Uh, this is my third time driving it. Um, I mean, it's been changing gears. I've had no problems uh, ever since I cleared the, um, the uh, error uh, code and uh, turn the engine light off and everything it's been riding good it was riding good before that but you know I just went on to turn that engine light off so it wouldn't be on hadn't turned back on so um, it's riding good so I just wanted to conclude this video and let you guys know that it actually worked um, the engine light has not came back on because of the problem and the car's driving fine Alright guys, this is JOATD and I'm out.